Hello and welcome to another episode in my Winter Warmers series. My name's Sim and in this episode I'm going to be making a creamy baked tagliatelle, or as it's known in my family, tagliatelle al forno. like carbonara you're going to love this it's basically a baked version so the top goes really crispy and lovely so to start with just get some bacon in a pan make sure the pan's relatively hot you'll hear it sizzle and just brown the bacon off once it's cooked we're then going to add the mushrooms in now the bacon's got nice and crisp I'm just going to drain it on some kitchen paper to get rid of any excess fat but I want to leave a little bit in there because I'm going to add the mushrooms to that. So you don't need any butter or oil at all. You can use the fat from the bacon. These will take a couple of minutes and you just want them soft and brown. You don't need to season them yet. Just add the bacon back in and that'll be more than enough salt. Now it's time to put the fresh pasta into some boiling water and make sure you season it with some salt too. Now you only need to boil it for half of the cooking time that it says on the packet because you don't want it totally done. Once the pasta's been drained from all of its water, you need to put it back in the pan but have no heat on and let it cool slightly and then you need to add some butter. I've put about 50 grams in but it's just to kind of loosen it up and make it glossy. So once it's cooled slightly, you then add the eggs. And the reason for letting it cool is if you put the eggs into a really hot pasta, you're just going to get scrambled eggs. So you want the eggs in there, about half a cup of milk and your cheese. I've got some cheddar and some parmesan, but you can really put whatever you like in here. And the lovely thing about this is that it's gonna make its own sauce while mixed in with the pasta. You don't need any separate pans or anything. As it cooks in the oven, you're gonna get this lovely creamy carbonara style sauce. So you just need to mix it in all together. For anything else you need and the full recipe, just check out the description box. Now once that's all mixed in, it's time to add the bacon and mushrooms. Now, if you don't like bacon or you can't eat it for whatever reason, there's no need to put it in really. You can just stick with the mushrooms. If you are gonna mix it up and put something different in, then do just leave us some comments below. We'd love to hear what you're doing with it. Now, once that's all mixed together, that's pretty much it, apart from a bit of black pepper. It'll probably be salty enough because of the bacon in there. And kids will love this recipe. It's really simple and it's really creamy, but there aren't any harsh or strong flavours in there. Okay, so once that's all come together, it's time to pop it in the dish. My mum used to make this for me when I was younger and I'd always think it was really indulgent because it was so creamy, but in fact it was probably just because she didn't have much time. She needed to make something that was really quick and easy but tasted good. Just level it out a little bit. You don't need to be too precious about it. It'll all cook and the tops will get really, really crispy. And that needs to go in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes at 160 degrees. That's our tagliatelle al forno out of the oven. The top's gone really crispy and it's smelling amazing and can't wait to dive in. If you want any more recipes like this or you enjoyed this one and you just want to see more, then please click subscribe. I've also just boiled up some broccoli. I think it's really nice to have something green with this. It makes it just a little bit fresher. But you can use anything. And if you're not a broccoli fan, then please feel free to use any vegetable that you like. That's my mum's tagliatelle al forno with bacon and mushrooms. I hope you enjoy it.